I don't actually remember the first race, but I remember this horrible yellow truck that he was always driving. But we, he's absolutely right. We spent our whole careers battling with one another, and there were some m massive, massive battles. And there was bits of truck all over the whole of Europe that came partly yellow, partly green, because mine was the BP truck. But I think, you know, we had a lot of respect for each other and, and really my championships were always about Gerd Korber because I had to, he was the first person I had to beat. Um, but I think we knew that we both were good drivers and it was just really who could, who could get the initiative. It was very much about qualifying and if you got in front it was hard to get past him. He found it hard to get past me. Um, and, and I was just discussing, there was one particular race at the Nürburgring where the big, big boss of Mercedes-Benz was there, Helmut Werner his name was, and he was head of the board. And he came to me before the race, he said, it's very important that you must win today. And, and, and I'd qualified on pole position by just a tiny amount, but Gerd was probably the faster driver that day. So I spent the whole race, maybe, I don't know, 15 laps, literally stopping him, and he was hitting from here, hitting from there, and everything else, and there was, there was nothing left of both of our trucks when we finished. And I remember his team, they were really, really cross that I wouldn't let him pass, and they came around at the end. But Helmut Werner was so important, he had his own bodyguard there that came from the SAS, and he was carrying a gun, and so I didn't care, really. I'm thinking, he can fix it for me. But there was a long, long period of time where, um, yeah, it was very much about Gerd and I, and I think we have a lot of respect for one another.